because I'm a very big fan of Game of Thrones series and of course because I really love dragons. Uh, I created this fan art poster with uh, Daenerys lookalike girl and I used a dragon and by the end of the tutorial you can learn how to create this scene also. So we are going to create first a background with uh, all those uh, elements and then we are going to add uh, Daenerys with all the details with lightning and shadows and then we are going to add a dragon and at the end we are going to use some final touches and to achieve this result. So stay tuned and let's do it. Let's start by adding a background. We have this uh, solidified lava and we're going to drag it into our document. Then let's press Ctrl T and make it smaller. Let's uh, place it on the bottom of our document and then let's take the quick selection tool and select this area and we are going to add a mask after we selected this part of the lava. Now let's press the mask and we have selected this part of our uh, lava. Next let's drag some clouds into our uh, background. Now press Ctrl and T and make it bigger and then place it underneath our lava layer. Now we want to hide uh, this top part of the lava because it doesn't look uh, really well and we are going to create a new layer and we are going to name it fog. We are taking the brush tool now and let's take a cloud brush or a, a fog or smoke brush. Then select a lower flow around uh, 20% and select by holding alt a color which is darker from our sky and just paint uh, where the sky intersects with our uh, lava. Now select all layers by holding shift and add them to a group and let's name this group background. Okay, so we have our group with the background, this one. Now let's go and uh, drag our main character into our design. So we have this picture with uh, Daenerys uh, lookalike and let's uh, drag this uh, layer into our uh, design. Alright, so I already selected her because we don't want to waste more time with the selection and uh, this is the layer with her. Of course we need to work more on the hair because I really don't like that part. Usually I don't really care how I uh, select the hair because uh, most of the time I paint over with my own uh, brush the hair part. Alright, now let's uh, press Ctrl T and make her uh, smaller. I think we need to rotate her a bit. It looks uh, a bit uh, rotated clockwise and we need to rotate her uh, more anti-clockwise. Now let's take care of the hair part. So let's uh, create a new layer and let's call it hair. I have some uh, hair brushes that I used in my previous tutorials. I'm going to give you also those brushes. They are really cool. And uh, let's start to uh, see how we can uh, paint over this area. First of all, let's um, use the brush tool, the normal brush tool, the hard brush and let's hide uh, by using the black color and flow to 100% and we are going to hide uh, this part of the hair and now we are going to uh, manually paint some hair over there. Alright, so we managed to hide those areas and now let's go back to our hair and take the hair brush. Alright, so with this hairbrush selected, let's uh, increase the flow to 100% and we are going to select uh, a color which is the darkest color of our hair, uh, I think this one, and we are going uh, to paint with that darkest, I think brownish color on that area to set up like a base for our hair. Uh, this is a really really quick hair design. I'm going to switch the brush now to a more 
thin brush which is this one and the size I always set it to around 3 or even 2%. Now I'm going to paint some hair, loose hair all over her uh, original hair. Alright, let's stop here with the hair. Normally I would spend more time with it, but now for the tutorial sake, let's uh, leave the hair like that. If you want to see uh, more of uh, this hair design, uh, you can leave me a comment and maybe in the future I will make a tutorial only with the hair part. Okay, now let's move on with uh, the tutorial. I'm going to select both layers and now right click and convert to a smart object. And let's rename this Daenerys. Now let's adjust the shadows and lights and overall colors. Go to image, adjustment and then select shadow and highlights. Alright, so you can keep the settings or you can play around more with the shadows and highlights. Alright, let's click OK. And because it's a smart object, I can always double click on the settings and uh, change everything that I want. So for the moment, I'm going to leave them like that. Let's add our dragon. We have uh, this uh, design with this dragon. And I'm going to drag it into our document. We won't lose any more time with the dragon because I have uh, already selected him. So this is our dragon selected from the original uh, image. Now I want to have this tail in another layer in a new layer. So uh, let's uh, duplicate this layer by holding Alt and drag this layer to our right part. Now on the copy of the dragon we are going to select by using the lasso tool. We are going to select the dragon and hold alt and press delete and we have selected only the tail now let's go on our original dragon layer select only the tail all right and hold alt and press delete and now we have those parts into two separate layers now press ctrl t and right click and flip it horizontally now let's uh, take the move tool and place him on her hand and of course we need to make him smaller. But before that, right click and convert it to a smart object. Now press Ctrl T and make him smaller. All right, and let's place him into her hands. I think something like that. All right, now let's reduce the opacity and I think now it's okay and add a mask. Now take the brush tool and select the hard brush and the flow should be 100%. And now with the black color selected, we are going to uh, bring back um, a part of her fingers because this part of her fingers should be on top. Okay, so now we have um, selected uh, uh, her fingers. Let's uh, take care of the tail. So let's uh, go on the tail, right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. Then press Ctrl T and Flip it horizontally and let's uh, play a bit with his tail. So first of all I'm going to rotate it and now I'm going to drag this tail underneath our dragon. So it should look something like that. Now let's press Ctrl T and wrap and I'm going to play a bit with uh, his tail. Now I'm going to add a mask to the tail. So. Now I want this part of the tail to be smaller and I'm going to take the pen tool and I'm going to select this part that I'm going to hide. So I've created a selection then I'm going to right click and make selection and then I'm going to press delete and we manage to make that part of the tail uh, slimmer or smaller. Alright so now we have our dragon ready and of course our Daenerys. Now let's take care of the colors of our dragon. So. Uh, first of all, select both layers, uh, this dragon and the tail, and then let's uh, add a group. Hold shift and click on the group icon. And then let's rename this one dragon. Let's do the same thing with the Daenerys. Hold shift on her layer and press the group icon. And let's rename this one also Daenerys. Now let's go on the dragon and on top of the dragon uh, group, let's add a selective color. Either you hold Alt and press between the layers on or click on this icon to clip this selective color into our dragon group. Alright, now let's play a bit with the colors. Alright, so I've modified the blacks and neutrals. 
you can copy those uh, settings or you can use your own. All right, now let's move on. Because the dragon is on top of her hand, uh, the dragon needs some shadows. I'm going to create a new layer and drag it under the dragon layer. And I'm going to call this one shadow. Now set the blending mode to multiply, take the brush tool and set the flow to around uh, 10%. Then hold alt and select a color from her hand which is close to that shadow that she has already in her hand. And then start to paint um, where the dragon should have cast some shadows. Let's drag this uh, shadow under both layers. Let's continue to paint. Now let's add a mask to our shadow and um, start to hide some parts that uh, should be not that uh, visible. Take the brush tool and paint with black. Alright, so we managed to add uh, some shadows, of course uh, normally I would have spent more time, but um, I think for now, for this tutorial, uh, it's okay. Let's move on and add some shadows underneath her legs, so go to her folder or group and create a new layer underneath her layer. Let's rename this one shadow also and set the blending mode to multiply and then take again the brush tool, but this time I'm going to select a color from the background which is uh, this one by holding alt. All right, now right click on the screen and on uh, this uh, settings, let's uh, drag the top uh, point and we are going to create something like a novel, something like that. And now uh, with the brush uh, with opacity 100% and the flow really low around 4 or 5%, I'm going to uh, paint on the ground some shadows uh, underneath her legs. Alright, now we created uh, the contact shadows and later on we are going to add the bigger shadow. Now we can add the bigger shadow also, so we'll create a new layer and uh, hold Ctrl and click on the layer with Daenerys. And then on this uh, new created layer, take the paint bucket tool and fill this one with the same color. And now we have um, this shadow. So uh, Ctrl T again, right click and flip it vertically and let's drag this one uh, on the bottom. Alright, so uh, we have uh, our shadow underneath her and now press Ctrl T and hold Ctrl and drag one of the corners, the bottom uh, right one and let's add a perspective to our shadow. Because we have the light coming uh, somehow from the left, I think her shadow should be uh, something like that. Alright, now because uh, it's not really perfect, I'm going to take the brush tool the hard brush tool and set everything to 100% and I'm going to paint uh, with the same color where the shadow should be. Alright, now let's set the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to something really really low because uh, it shouldn't be that uh, a strong shadow. Alright, now uh, on the shadow let's uh, Right click and convert it to a smart object. And now let's uh, go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. And I'm going to add some blur to this shadow, something around uh, 6%. All right, so we have her shadow. Uh, of course, if you want to change the opacity, you have to double click. And here uh, you can uh, increase a bit the opacity and press counter S to save it. And then let's go back to our document. And now let's uh, bring some uh, fire into our design. We have this layer, let's drag it into our document. Let's go on the background group and drag this one on top of everything. Press Ctrl T and 
then make it bigger and let's drag this one uh, somewhere around here and then select the screen blending mode then add a mask and with the black color selected and the flow around 10 percent of course we need a soft brush and uh, slowly paint on the bottom of this uh, fire all right now uh, because uh, we finish with masking the bottom part of the fire let's add another fire so let's drag this one into our uh, design also all right let's uh, place him something like that and set the blending mode again to screen and drag it underneath our fire again add a mask and start to paint on the bottom part to hide uh, that part of the fire okay now uh, let's add a curves adjustment layer and make everything darker okay now take the brush tool and with black selected let's uh, paint a bit on the top part now let's select both uh, Daenerys and Dragon and I think uh, she should be a bit bigger because um, she will look much better I think something like that it's uh, really really nice now let's uh, add one more uh, fire layer into our background which is this one so let's drag this one into our document all right so we have this layer let's press ctrl t and make it bigger all right now uh, hold ctrl and we are going to add a perspective to this uh, new layer so i'm just going to drag those corners to make this one uh, smaller now let's uh, add a mask and try to hide that uh, top part now because we added this uh, layer we need to adjust some things so first of all let's add a selective color and uh, clip it inside this uh, new layer and we are going to change the black values all right now select uh, both layers and uh, hold alt and let's copy them a few times and do the same thing with the mask let's hide some areas and then we will cover all this bottom part with uh, this uh, one single layer now because we added uh, those layers on the background we need her shadow to be less visible so go on the shadow um, which is uh, this one and reduce the opacity to around 50 percent because we added the fire background her colors should be more to the orange side so let add, let's add a selective color and clip it inside the daenerys layer and now with the neutrals we are going to play a bit with the color okay so those are the settings and now let's move on let's add a new adjustment layer because her bottom part where the legs are should be more darker uh, and let's do this by adding a levels and clip this one inside the Daenerys layer and let's drag this white slider to the left and then invert the mask by pressing ctrl i and then with the brush selected and the white color we are going to paint on this uh, bottom part and we are going to uh, make the legs part uh, darker all right and because um, there is some fire underneath her legs uh, some lava we are going to add a uh, hue and saturation again clip it and check colorize and then let's uh, find that orange color i think something like that again press ctrl and i and with the white color selected we are going to paint that orange on her legs let's uh, change a bit that uh, orange i think uh, something like that as you see as we go with the design some things change because you never know uh, from the beginning where you go with the design so now i noticed that the shadow should be again uh, more visible this time so again i'm going to create a new layer this time i'm going to set the blending mode to multiply and with the black color selected i'm going to press again the properties right click and then make this oval and i'm going to paint the contact shadow again i want to add this uh, image also into our document so let's drag it and uh, let's place it uh, underneath uh, everything in the background group and uh, let's uh, set the blending mode to screen let's press ctrl t and make it smaller something like that and let's place it uh, on the ground something like uh, that 
and then again add the mask and take the soft brush and start to paint with the black color selected on the bottom part to hide that area. Alright, now that we have our background ready, let's add a levels adjustment layer and make everything darker. Something like that. And then with the brush selected, uh, let's paint some areas where we want the background to be lighter. Alright, now let's uh, add another selective color and play around with the colors. So I play a bit with the neutrals and the blacks and uh, this is uh, with and this is without. And I added some um, magenta tones to our image. Now um, let's uh, hide everything but the background. So uh, I want to adjust some uh, blur to our background. And I'm going to press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I to, to make a screenshot of everything. Right click and convert to a smart object. Now I'm going to filter blur gallery and fill blur. And I'm going to add some blur uh, on our image. So. Uh, here on the top, I'm going to add some more blur uh, and on uh, the bottom, I will keep uh, the blur to zero and in the center, I will add some small blur, but the highest amount of blur is on the top part. So I added some uh, blur here and there and uh, now let's bring our layers back. So we uh, have our background ready. Now let's take care of the lights, shadows and overall colorizing. Okay, go to the Daenerys group and uh, let's add to her layer, let's add a uh, new adjustment layers, which is levels. And now let's uh, clip it by pressing this icon and drag the white slider more to the left. All right, now invert the mask and uh, let's add some uh, dark parts on her right side, our right side, her left side actually. Alright, so let's uh, darken those areas by painting with the brush and the white color. Now let's uh, make the darker part uh, of uh, her body uh, more visible by adding uh, something similar to dodge and burn. Go to layer, new layer, choose uh, soft light and fill it with 50% gray. Alright. Now again, clip this uh, layer by holding Alt and we are going to clip it inside the Daenerys uh, group. And now let's zoom in, take the brush tool and be sure that the flow is really low around uh, 5% and we are going to uh, paint on the parts where uh, she already has some dark parts. So uh, something like that where you see some dark parts you should uh, paint and then uh, where she has some lighter parts, we will change the color to white. Now we finished, let's see, uh, this is uh, without and this is with. And now let's switch the color to white and let's do the same thing. But this time we are going to paint on the light parts of her body, not on the dark parts. So Let's uh, have the flow set to around 10% and let's paint on the light parts of her body. So now we managed to make the lighter parts of her body lighter and now let's uh, bring some colors on her body. And uh, we can do that by adding a layer new layer and the mode should be linear dodge and fill it with 100% uh, black. All right. And add also this one into our layer of Daenerys. So hold alt and click between the layers. And now let's uh, select an orange color, something like that. And with this orange color and the flow around uh, 3%, we are going to paint uh, on her body and her clothes to add some orange. Alright, so we added some orange, don't worry if it looks like that. Now let's double click on the layer and uh, we are going to use the blend if method to uh, make this uh, strong orange disappear into the underlying layer. In order to do that, hold Alt and click between the layers and then drag the right slider more to the right. Now we are going to do the same thing at the same layer with the linear dodge and fill it with black 
and hold Alt and click between the layers. And now with the same orange, we are going to add uh, more orange to her body. And now we are going to do the same thing, but this time we are going to use the white color. So layer new and set the blending mode to linear dodge and fill it with black and hold alt and click between the layers. Now switch to the white color and we are going to add something like an outline to her body and her clothes. Okay, so now we need to, to do the same thing with the dragon. So let's go to the dragon group and add uh, the same uh, first levels and uh, clip it by pressing this little icon and let's add some shadows. Now let's invert the layer and uh, with the brush tool selected, we are going to paint with the soft brush and the flow around 10%. We are going to paint with the white color uh, where uh, the dragon needs some shadows. And we are going to do now um, the same thing, but this time I want to add some lights and we are going to use the curves. And let's clip this layer again by pressing this little icon and let's add some uh, lightning to our dragon. Let's uh, do the same thing, invert the mask by pressing Ctrl and I and then with the white color selected, we are going to paint uh, on uh, some parts of the dragon where uh, the dragon should need uh, some lightning. Okay, now let's add that soft light uh, layer. Go to new layer and select the mode uh, soft light and fill it with 50% gray and hold alt and clip uh, this to the dragon group. And now with the black color selected, we are going to uh, make some shadows more visible. So paint with black where the dragon has darker areas. Now switch to white and uh, let's um, make the lighter areas more lighter. Now let's add that linear dodge 
uh, for the colorizing. So go to layer, new layer and choose uh, linear dodge and fill it with black. And now let's add that orange color. So select the orange color and now uh, let's clip this layer inside our group. And now with the brush, select it and the flow around 3-4%. Let's uh, paint on the dragon. All right, let's apply that blend if double click and uh, hold alt click between the layers and drag the slider more to the right. All right, now let's uh, do the same thing. Go to layer new layer, choose uh, linear dodge and fill it with black. Then clip it inside the group and with the same orange color, we are going to slowly paint on the sides of the dragon. All right, now let's add the same and this time we are going to play with the white color. So <clears throat> select linear dodge, fill it with black and clip it by holding alt and now select the white color and let's um, play with the white color and we are going to draw something like an outline to our dragon. Okay, now let's uh, go underneath our Daenerys layer uh, group and create a new layer and set the blending mode to uh, color dodge. Now um, take the soft brush, increase the size and uh, let's take an orange color. And with the flow around 3%, we are going to paint behind her some uh, glow. All right, now let's create a new layer and this time let's set the blending mode to linear dodge and let's do the same thing. Now let's add some sun rays on top of our design on the left part. So create a new layer and set the blending mode to soft light. All right, so in order to draw some straight lines, hold shift and uh, click once and then do not release shift and click again. And if you click between those uh, points, you'll add some uh, sun rays. And now let's uh, go to filter blur and choose Gaussian blur. And let's set the radius to around uh, 20%. So we have our sun rays on the left part of our design. And now let's add the camera row filter. So go on top of everything, press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and I to group everything into one single layer. And now uh, right click, convert it to a smart object, go to filter and let's apply the camera row filter. So I play around with the camera row filter and um, you can use my settings or you can uh, play more and uh, choose your own settings. So I play with the basic settings and then on the detail I added some sharpening and noise reduction and on the color grading I, add some, I added some mid-tones uh, with uh, some uh, orange shade and some shadows with some blue shade. And then on the effects I always add some grain and some vignetting. All right, and just press OK. After we finish with the camera row filter, I want to add some uh, fire sparkles to my design. So let's import some fire sparks. OK, so we have imported uh, those two layers. Um, first one is uh, this one, uh, those fire sparks. Let's press Ctrl T and make uh, this layer smaller, uh, something like that. And then let's uh, place it uh, on our uh, design. I think uh, it looks good and then let's set the blending mode to screen. Uh, now you can you know move uh, this around and then let's add a mask and we can uh, mask some parts of uh, those sparkles by using the black color and the brush. And we can add uh, more. Uh, let's use the other layer and uh, again set it to screen. All right again add a mask and let's brush some uh, details that we don't want to be that uh, visible. I think I'm going to duplicate the first layer and add uh, more sprites on the bottom part. At the end I'm going to add some uh, glowing edges to my design so press Ctrl R Shift and I 
and then go to filter choose filter gallery and from there let's choose glowing edges from stylize and hit ok and send the blending mode to screen if you look closer you'll see that uh, these glowy edges makes my design pop up more so uh, this is the final uh, setup for our tutorial i hope that you enjoyed watching it and of course you can try to make your own design by using the stocks that i use in my uh, tutorial today if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please uh, consider to subscribe and also follow me on instagram where i post all my work and my designs and i can answer your questions over there so thank you so much again for following me and my work and see you next time